What is up, YouTube? Long time no see, boy. It's your boy T. I'm back again today with another Soul Supremacy Beater Box. This is my most expensive box so far this year. This box cost me $1,025. Uh, new to the channel, nothing more, nothing less than just a mystery box full of kicks. Don't know what's in the box at all. They're supposedly built for us to make profit. Uh, yeah, man, I'm kind of excited. Been getting a lot of boxes in, just haven't had time to film and all that stuff like that. Um, so I don't want to give you guys too many excuses, man. We're just going to jump right into this box. I actually have two boxes. I got a cheaper one. I believe it was $6.25. I'll confirm that for sure uh, in the next video. If I have time to shoot that one and uh, let you guys check that one out too be a little bit more consistent with them this box right here was heavy though that's all i remember carrying this box in it definitely was heavy so and i'm looking at it now and i see why it is a bunch of shoes in here and a lot of them without laces i mean not laces a lot of them without boxes first up we got these air force ones they seem to be dead stock no box um i don't know the nickname to these no box these are a size these size eight and a half dead stock i don't know if these are something special probably not air force ones seem like um i mean they kind of came back in style but mostly you just see people rocking all white joints and not trusting people that wear the all black ones <laughs> next up we got a 350 zebra Check out the back, a little dirty right there in the back. Might be able to get that out, not for sure. These are a size, make sure. These are a size eight and a half. Check out the bottom. These are actually pretty clean. Tail from the boots at the bottom. Zebras. I still wanna come across the, the yellow joints. I can't think of the name of them, Yebras. I don't know what those yellow ones are called. You know, the little neon looking ones. I wouldn't mind having those. I already have zebras in my collection. Next up, we got some KD7s. I'm trying to shoot this vid quick so I can jump to the next one. I might shoot both of them back to back. These are the Black History Month KD7s. No box, size 10. They look dead stock. Check out the bottom. I'm. I can't say dead stock. I do see some light creasing right here, like somebody tried them on or something. These are very clean. KD, Black History Month. You guys can see the BHM and the strap right there. Man. <laughs> we got some more Air Force Ones. These say Dominican Republic on the back. I have no idea what these forces are. Look like a throw-in pair. Um, one red, one blue. Check out the check. One red, one blue on the bottom. Uh, I don't know what these are. They just say Dominican Republic on them. Another Air Force One. Pre-owned. No box. All right, we got more 350s. Size 10 on these. Cloud white, that's what these are called. Not a bad colorway, size 10. I think I seen 10, yeah, size 10 on these. Very clean, show you how the bottom. Yeah, that's how you know really the condition of some Yeezys by flashing the bottom, check out that boost. I've been getting, I got a lot of 350s in stock right now. A lot of them. Again, this was a $1,025 box. And so far, we've pulled out one, two, three, four, five pair without boxes. And we have a record because here is another pair without box. This, these are the Nike Air Force Gore-Tex. These look to be um, dead stock because they still have the strap on them. These are a size 10. Don't know anything about these. Uh, look like a winterized Air Force One. I don't see too many people talking about them, so I don't. I'm assuming there's no hype behind this shoe. I don't 
I don't know, I've never seen it before. It looks high quality though, it feels high quality. The leather, and it's got a ton of grip on the bottom. So I guess you can go walk in some snow or some mud or something. But uh, part of the Gore-Tex series, Air Force One, size 10, dead stock, no box. Now we can jump to the shoes without boxes. We have six more pair in this box, yo. Yeah. These are the PG3s. These are the NASA PG3s. I remember seeing these. These are a size eight. Look like they might've been found at an outlet or something because the box is missing the lid. Check those out. These are dead stock. PG3s, size eight. Probably a dope hoop shoe. Got a lot of details in this shoe. I'm looking at it and it's got all kind of phrases and stuff embedded in the midsole. Five pair left. My favorite box, the Nike Air Vapor Max. Well, not my favorite box. Y'all know I like the one box, but Vapor Max is what I wear a lot to the gym. So Vapor Max is one of my favorite shoes. These are a size nine and a half. Just double checking on the inside of the shoe. I don't know the nickname to these. These are the 2019 Vapor Maxes. These are pre-owned, but very, very clean. Very clean pre-owned Vapor Max nine and a half. Not a bad colorway. Not a bad colorway. If you guys need any more pictures or anything like that from these shoes, I know I'm going through this, this box quick. Any pictures or anything like that, hit my DM or email and I will send you more pictures. I mean, of course, the dead stock shoes are really dead stock, so probably won't need no pictures of those, but if you want some pictures of them, I, I'll send them to you. Size nine, we got a Toy Story collab. Now, I've had a Toy Story collab before with Vans. And it wasn't this pair. I can't even remember what it was. It was like two years ago. But these are the Woody Toy Story uh, Vans. These right, these right here do have a little bit of value. These are dead stock. Check those out. Check those out. I just got some Vans recently. Follow me on Insta. You guys know I lift in Vans for my leg days. Very, very good lifting shoes for leg days just due to the flat soles. Those are dead stock. I do not know the value of them, but I do know that they do have some values. It's not like a regular $50 pair of Vans. I have three pair left, and the, out of those three, two of them are Retro One OG boxes, man. So I'm hopefully gonna get some fire. You guys know from this box what it is. We have the Air Maxes, um, OG Plus. These are called the Sunsets like they're in pretty good shape these are size nine those toy story uh vans are size nine too if i didn't say it get these out these look they're not dead stock but they look dead stock from a distance these are size nine i've had these before not out of a beater box i did like a local buyout from a guy um who worked at Foot Locker that just had all kind of crazy stuff that was a big come up. But anyway, these are size nine. Nike Air Max Plus OG Sunsets. Very dope shoe. OG. I think these originally came out when I was in elementary school. I want to say the third or fourth grade, if I remember correctly. I remember I wanted to shoot bad. Uh, we got an OG Retro High in a size 8. Nah. They did stock, though. I don't even know the nickname to these. I feel like they did too much with these. I mean, uh, they are dead stock. Check out the bottom. They even have that good old uh, StockX verification deal already on them. So that be coming with the shoe. Size 9 on these, or size 8 on these. I can't think of first class flight. That's the name of these. Um, these are not, um, in my my opinion, um, a highly sought after retro one. So I don't know. I wasn't a fan of them. 
I feel like they did too much. Like with the label, the barcodes, and the material didn't feel all that. But I mean, I don't know. Had it been on a regular OG Jordan, this colorway yellow and white, I mean, it probably would have been a little bit better. I don't know. To each their own, though. Somebody a cop them. These are dead stuff. Last OG box. Hopefully my size, and I can tell it's probably not, just because the box is small. These are eight and a half, man. These are not an OG colorway, but I was a fan of them. And they kind of had that same material as the other ones, but these, to me, were slept on. I actually like these. I can't think of the name of them, but these are clean. These are size eight and a half. Still have the sticker on the inside, Nike Air on the inside. Comes with both of the extra laces. And they do have a ton of stars on the bottom. Not sure if you guys can catch that. A little dirty bottom, but uh, overall pretty clean. So these are size eight and a half. These will probably move quick. Along with those other retro ones, a lot of these shoes are gonna move fast. We got two pair of Yeezys, a lot of dead stock shoes. So this right here was a pretty good box. I don't know the value of it until I jump on GOAT and StockX and start comparing prices or whatever, but uh, I'll put that down below. I know you guys like seeing the uh, potential profit pop up on the screen after the video. So I'll put that down below somewhere and show you guys that. Appreciate you guys rocking with me. Sorry for the uh, de delay on videos. Been having a ton of boxes coming in though. Follow me on Instagram. Um, I will be posting a lot more shoes in that T.I. Sold for Sale page on IG. And I post a lot of shoes on my regular page, but those mostly are like keepers or gym videos that most of y'all don't care about. So follow me on Insta at T.I. Sold, Twitter, everywhere at T got so eBay. I've been posting a few shoes on eBay. eBay been doing like no fees on kicks over a hundred dollars or something like that. So random stuff I'll throw up on eBay. I think I got some Air Max OGs on there right now. Uh, anniversary Air Max is on there right now. So go check out the eBay. It might be something on there. It might not. A lot of stuff I get sold locally and the beater boxes. Oh my gosh. Woo, the month of February was crazy with the beater boxes. I ran my numbers. I did almost 10 beater boxes for everybody, and there was a lot of inventory gone. So this right here is a rebuild for me. I'm just rebuilding up and uh, getting the inventory back up. Uh, like I said, I got another box sitting in my living room right now. I may have time to shoot a video for it this week. I'm actually shooting this video. I don't even have my watch on. It's almost 2 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to shoot my video. I'm busy all day. So, uh, man, please like, share, all that cool stuff on the vid. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Follow me everywhere at T Guy Soul. I'm out. Peace.